Hi, I'm Levi from Team 8749 Farmer Zoo Robotics and I'm going to be talking a little bit about our generative design. So this is actually AI generated to meet specific criteria that we set. So we tell it it needs to weigh three pounds, it needs to have a specific safety factor, it's going to be manufactured in a specific way, and the material it's going to use. And once it does that, it comes up with about six or seven different outcomes and we'll run simulations on it to find the best one. And we 3D printed it on our meter by meter 3D printer. And then we did a wet layup with carbon fiber, so it actually outperforms all the simulations that we ran. Generative design is not suitable in all cases, but we wanted to try it here because it's cool, and also because it has multiple UK use cases. And so here we have it as a swerve drive protector as well as our elevator. So you can see I shake the whole thing, and the actual robot, and in this case the cart, is moving, but it's not moving relative to the base. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information.